everybody. Riding to Lakeland this morning, I'd had a thought. The book of Proverbs tells us that where there is no vision, my people perish. A few months ago, everybody was up in arms over ISIS, then it's the transgender bathrooms. You know, ain't nobody wants a grown man in the bathroom with their little girl. But if he's that sick, probably don't want him in the bathroom with your little boys either. And today it's Pokemon. Our minds are so easily drawn from one direction to the other. In the church, come about one or two o'clock after the man of God has preached over something that he's prayed and worked on, got the folks all fired up with a vision of outreach and a closer walk with God, come seven days later, he's starting all over again from square one. Why? Because during the week they've been distracted. They've lost their focus. They have lost their vision. Why do we see marriages fail? A lack of focus. Why do we see pastors begging an overseer to give them a shot at a church, that they have a burden for that city and the loss there, only to find two, three, four years later, if that long, they're on the phone with another bishop trying to get to another church. Why? Because they're more focused on their career than they are the vision God has for their life. Why do we see so many people starting things that they don't finish? They're distracted. They lose focus. Let me encourage you today, church, that we focus on the vision God has for our life that involves our church getting behind our pastor and whatever his vision is for that community and not be so easily distracted. Don't grow weary in well-doing. I love you. Pray for me. God bless you.